guys, good morning and welcome to another China vlog. Um, I'm here in the giant Shenzhen North Station. If you see all around me, it's really massive. And my gate's just up in front of me there. I've got a train in about an hour to Guilin. Um, really excited because I love trains. So should be able to see some cool stuff out the window. Should be awesome. Um, but yeah, I think I've got to get some snacks first and then We'll be leaving soon and I can show you the view. Very cool out the window. All right, guys, I made it here to Guilin Station. It's kind of funny doing these little videos though, because as soon as you start speaking English, everyone stares at you. I'm like the only white person in this whole fucking giant hallway, but you know, I'll just have to do it. I'll just have to get stared at. But um gonna try get to the city now find my hostel and maybe get a bite to eat and get through this big crowd all right guys here I am in Guilin I just had some KFC for dinner which was a bit naughty um, but now I'm just looking around the place looks really cool uh, the receptionist at the hotel was really nice and she made a little map for me um, of where to walk tonight to check out the city so this is the first place I've come to it looks really scenic behind me and then tomorrow I'm gonna be getting a bamboo boat uh, which is like a little small bamboo boat down to Yangshou and I think I might stay there for a night or I might get the bus back but the ride there should be amazing so we'll see that soon but yeah for now we'll just look around here Alright, and this up here is what they call Elephant Mountain. If you look around the corner... You can see there's a little hole, so it look, makes it look like an elephant. But you have to pay to go down there. I'm not going to do that, it's a rip-off. You have to pay like 70 yuan just to walk down the stairs to see that properly. Which is like 15 bucks. Kind of a rip-off. so peaceful and idyllic until you realize you have to pay 60 yuan to go down there or face barbed wire it's sad not in any other town or city they would just make this a public area but here they've put a ridiculous price just to see the nature it's kind of funny <laughs> Okay guys, I'm really liking Guilin so far. It's a very relaxing city. You feel relaxed even just walking around here. And look, I just found a giant TV. Oh no, I don't think it's gonna focus. They're just playing like China Channel 1. Look how big it is in comparison to the people watching it though. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, this is the central square. Very cool. I'm loving it. I'm loving it so far. Interesting place. But um, I'm going to head back to the hostel and we'll see tomorrow on this uh, boat cruise how, how it goes and what cool stuff I see on that. So see you in a, in a minute. All right, guys. Good morning and welcome to a smoggy Guaylin day. About to go on this boat ride. Um, just in this tourist trap village, all these people are coming up to me trying to sell stuff. 
Oh, they're all gone. You can't see them, but yeah, they're very annoying. Anyway, onto the boat. So you can see some in front of me. I'm trying to sell like phone protectors and flowers. I'm kind of keen to buy one of those hats, but I know I have, will have no use for it after I leave Guilin, so and we're about to go down there and boat past this big mountain. Hello? <laughs> we are, we are. guys I just finished up um, my boat tour down the I think it's the Lee River I'm not too sure and then we've just stopped in this town called Jiping and as you can see behind me we've got this awesome view a nice reflection on the water and then next we're gonna be going to Yangshu and I think I'll be staying I'll be staying there for one night so um, yeah we'll see what over there looks like okay what's up guys the bus has just dropped me off in probably the most Chinese part of China I've ever been to or I'm probably gonna go to um, I'm a bit lost I don't know where I am but I'm gonna try find this hostel and find something to eat but yeah if you look around very foreign oh a burger Wow guys, look at this. This town has got to be one of the most beautiful places I've seen. You can see you've got the mountains in the background of the city. And all the traffic, all the scooters. I'm only staying here for one night, just on a whim, because the boat dropped me off here, but... Man, I wish I stayed longer. This place looks epic. Yeah, well, look at that. Have you ever seen a more beautiful backdrop for a KFC? I have not. So what's up, guys? I'm still out here in Yangshou. I'm a little bit tipsy. This Chinese girl who, uh, I think she was on my tour group, um, she bought me dinner and some beers because I helped her take her suitcase up these big stairs. And then she, like, waited for me on a street corner until I walked past and shouted me dinner and beers. So. That was nice of her, but when I told her I already had a girlfriend, the, con the conversation sort of died a bit, even though it was all on Google Translate anyway. But, um, you know, it was nice of her to buy me dinner. But uh, anyway, I'm on to finding the hostel now, and it's starting to get dark, so hopefully I can get there before darkness falls. If you see in front of me, just walking down some random Chinese street, hopefully I get there safe. I think I have died in have gone to heaven because I've just been given a free dinner by you know a nice looking Chinese girl not that I did anything uh, and then I've come to my hostel for the night and they've upgraded me to a, a two-bedroom dorm and then if you turn around this is my freaking view it's even some like farmers and some cows and stuff I paid five dollars for this room and it's like the most amazing place I've stayed, apart from maybe in Hawaii. But holy shit. And then, like, if we go into my bed, I've even got a little window here. Look, that's what I'm gonna wake up to. And I've even got a pool. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm stoked guys. I didn't think the trip would actually be this good, but um, yeah, today is going awesome. Uh, yeah, let's see what the the pool is like and what the hostel is like.
Good morning guys and welcome to my view. Amazing, huh? Just eating my breakfast here. But I think somebody want, wants a piece. <laughs> Alright, I just had my breakfast and now I'm out walking, exploring Yangshou. Um, the Chinese call this area um, Heaven on Earth, I think, or something like this. And you can absolutely see where, why. I mean, look around me. The dog over there. mountains, some farmers up there. This place is absolutely amazing. I'm just walking to the river now and I'm sure at the river it'll be even better, even better views. So we'll see soon. All right guys, I've made it to the river. Um, you're not gonna believe this, check this out. Holy fuck. Have you ever seen something so amazing? Some dudes fishing over there. So quiet too. It's actually like I'm in a movie. This is, it's unreal guys, it's so cool. Uh, getting some good photos too, so yeah. It's really nice. I think I'm just going to chill out here for a bit, guys, but if you ever get the chance, definitely come to Yangshou. This place is fucking sick. Alright guys, well, I'm pretty much done exploring Yangshou. It's a beautiful town and I got some pretty awesome photos. Uh, just going to head back to the hostel now and then get on the bus back to Guilin. Alright guys, I've gotten back to Guilin now, just going back to the hostel, but um, final thoughts on Guilin, it's a really relaxing, beautiful place, definitely come here if you have the opportunity, and um, also go to Yangshou, that place is really amazing. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off for now, and then the next video is going to be in Chongqing, so that should be exciting. It's meant to be like the Hong Kong of the middle of China. And yeah, then we got more China videos coming up after that. So uh, please subscribe if you're enjoying these. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. See you later.